Gary Brocker, the frontman of the 1960s rock band Proko Haram, has died at the age of 76. The London-born singer led the band throughout their 55-year-old history, uh, co-writing and singing their most famous song in 1967's A White Shed of Pearl. He was appointed an OBE in 2003, and A White Shed of Pearl was honored by the Rock and Roll Wall of Fame in 2018. A broker died at his home from cancer on Saturday, as the band said in a statement. Uh, he lit up any room he entered, and his kindness of my Telengo family of fans was legendary, they wrote in tribute. Uh, he was notable for his individuality, integrity, and occasionally stubbornness and stricity. His modern wit and appetite for his ridiculous made him a priceless uh, raconteur. Brooker also toured with Eric Capleton, a Ringo star, and played with Sir Paul McCartney, uh, Bill Wyman, uh, George Harrison, and Alan Payson's project, and many others. In 1996, he appeared alongside Madonna in Alan Parker's film adaptation of Evita, playing Argentine foreign minister, Joan Alicio. Uh, born in Hackney, East London, a broker was just 14 when he formed his first band, The Paramount School. After achieving success to local youth groups, uh, they signed to EMI Records and scored a minor hit with their debut single, Poison Ivy, in January 1964. Uh, the band received a major endorsement from the Rolling Stones who gave them a guest billing on several memorable shows in the 1960s, but none of their subsequent singles troubled the charts and were eventually split apart. Brooker went on to form Proko Haram in 1966 and released their first uh, best known song uh, the following year. One of the anthems of the Summer of Love, A White Shade of Pale, was an unusual song uh, from his surreal lyrics. Uh, to the haunting organ line, and the melancholy arrangement are loosely based on Bach's air on the G-string. And nonetheless, it became one of the most commercially and successful singles of all time, selling more than 10 million copies worldwide. At the first ever Brit Awards in 1977, it was named the joint winner of the best British pop single, 1952 to 1977. In 2009, it was named the most played song of the last 75 years by the UK radio stations. From the moment that we made it, we knew it was special, Brooker said in 2017. Uh, whenever I played it to anyone, it was just me singing at the piano and every person thought that it sounded like a hit. So we honestly believed that the song was going to be a hit even before we recorded it. Once we had recorded it and had captured that very characteristic sound and rather haunting sound, we really did think that it was a good one. Uh, the band promoted the record by touring with Jimi Hendrix and followed it up with a top 10 single, Homburg. However, the band never sought to replicate the song of those early records, preferring to forge a ruthlessly progressive path, uh, they said in a statement announcing Broker's death. Uh, their third album in 1969's A Salty Dog is regarded as their masterpiece, ushering in an era of lush, orchestrated, progressive rock. Fans included film director Martin, uh, wrote about their magisterial melodies and teasing enigmatic lyrics you could invest with your own fantasies. And in the foreword to Harry Scott 2012 book about the band, but the group split in 1977 after a series of line up changes. A broker launched a solo career and toured with Eric Capleton's live band in the 1980s, but reperformed uh, Proko Haram's for new album. The Prodigal Stranger in 1991. He also fought a lengthy legal battle with former bandmate Matthew Fisher, who claimed to have written the organ riff on the White Shade of Pearl. Uh, the case eventually went to the House of Lords, which ruled that Fisher was entitled to share of royalties from the song. And meanwhile, the modern lineup of Proko Haram continued to record and tour until the COVID pandemic put their plans on hold. They played their final gig with Broker in Switzerland in 2019 and used the time away from touring to record their three-track EP Missing Persons, which was released on May 2021. Gary's voice and piano were a single defining constant of Broker's 50-year international concert career, the band said on Twitter. Without any stage antics or other gimmicks, he was invariably the most watchable musician in the show. Uh, but for all his other interests and skills, prize-winning gangler, pub owner, lyricist, painter, inventor, 
He was above all a devoted and loyal husband to Frankie, whom he met in 1965 and married in 1968. Our thoughts must be with her, their families and friends at this extremely sad moment. Uh, thanks for sticking on our channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment.